I used to avoid CMake like the plague, and I hated that it became the default build system for C++ projects. And I know I'm not alone in this, there's plenty of anti-CMake hate out on the internet, it's very easy to find. In my case, I found the syntax to be cryptic, the documentation was no help, and the error messages I found to be rather unintelligible. Basically, if I encountered a, C a project that used CMake and there was a build error, that was it. Game over, man, I don't know what to do. Uh, I always felt that good old fashioned make files were so much easier and so much clearer. Uh, in reality, it's not really. I, I remember there was a time early on when I was learning programming that I found make files to be cryptic. But anyway, when I was looking at this, like make files are so much easier, CMake is horrible. That's it, haven't used it. Now that all changed end of last year, so end of 2022, when I was working on the Rayleigh 2D challenge and I wanted to use Box 2D, which is a C++ project that uses, you guessed it, CMake. And unlike other projects, they didn't have a makefile backup. So that left me in a situation, what do I do? I have in the past, I have added these kind of projects directly into my makefile or created a, manually created a, a, a makefile for them. This time, I really didn't want to do that. So I thought I'd try the other way around. I'll try converting my project to CMake. And I found that actually modern CMake is pretty good. The, uh, the CMake development team haven't stood still. Uh, CMake is easy to use. The documentation is better. The errors are clearer. Uh, altogether, I could, I could switch to it, and, and I think with the, the next C++ project I do, I probably will. Uh, that's not to say that it's perfect. Um, in true C++ style, it has massive backward compatibility, meaning that all those old CMake, uh, CMake list files out there still work. And it also means that you will find plenty of old tutorials and documentations and bad examples out there teaching you the old horrible way of doing things, not the modern way. So to help you out with that, if you go down to the bottom of the page, or if you're in, on, not on uh, my website, click through the link underneath the video, go to the bottom of the page, leave you a few links uh, that should help you getting started with, with CMake. That's it for now. I will see you next time.